Okay, you guys, um, here's a little video about a thing that I ran into. I was putting a ATU into a John Deere tractor, as to say, a 6140M, and um, I wasn't getting my little symbol here. Of course, it just shows you the book with a wrench, and you would go into diagnostics, and you would check the um, the pies and the requirements for it, and it said, yes, 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 yes. Everything was just fine, but I didn't get this and the steering wheel so what it turns out to be and of course I did this by myself is I went into message center and it said nothing here but then I was told well apparently the uh, engineers that designed this particular software software engineers they uh, allowed a code to be active but not visible until you go into diagnostics you let the controllers all load up in here and you would sh hit show all and right now I have an ITC code which I'm not entirely sure what it's about but I don't really care about it what was a code before was a uh, USC something rather yeah this one here uh, the 630 okay that one was active and didn't allow for the um, the thing so I uh, for for the steering wheel so I'm guessing this one is active because um, it's disabled right now uh, you know All the usual things but that didn't come up and then when you hit clear of course the act the code would stay active and uh, yeah okay so now supposedly no active codes and what has to happen is you got to go in here got to hit the auto track and you got to go into uh, setup calibrations and you'll have a red circle here steering ratio calibration must be done when you install a new ATU and I'm guessing that this communicates with its serial number to the display and then the display knows multiple ATUs and it's it's it knows but yeah you need to calibrate the auto track in order for the uh, Pi to come up 